So now you're getting promoted from the academy team to the main team. Uh, do you think this transition is much easier for you since you're already kind of in the team already, right? Yeah, I think it does. It was really easy to like fit in because like we had really good uh, chemistry like instantly when we started practicing and stuff like that. And yeah, I would, I would say like it, it was like really easy. Hey, we're here in Hamburg today uh, with a very special and new guest, uh, Jimpat. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm doing really good. So uh, you arrived today, uh, this morning, um, but you told me that you've been to Hamburg before. Can you maybe tell us a bit about that? Yeah, um, <clears throat> we were on a family trip um, before I was like eight or nine. Um, I cannot really remember it, but I just remember that I was here. Um, but yeah, it has been a pretty decent place so far. Mm. Can you maybe pronounce your nickname for the people who don't know how it's uh, pronounced? Um, <clears throat> I think you can like say it multiple, like different like um, uh, stars, you know, you can call Yimpat, Yimpat, Chimpat, like it's, I don't mind it that much, but I think Yimpat, I would like use it. So that's your favorite? Yimpat. Yeah, Yimpat, yeah. Um, so now you're promoted to the main team. Uh, we did a video today, the whole day. Can you maybe talk about that? How was your experience? Because it was also your first video uh, shoot, I would say, right? Yeah, it was my <clears throat> first video shoot, and I think it was like really uh, well. Um, it was really fun as well. Like I did something that I have never done before, so it was a, f a really nice uh, first experience, and yeah, I liked it. Mm. So you're getting promoted now to the mouse uh, main team, but obviously you were already uh, for one year in our organization. Yeah. Um, can you maybe talk about your NXT time uh, with Tobis as well as the head coach? Um, yeah, so I joined NXT in um, one year ago, like before summer a bit. Uh, back then we had Dory, Camille, then we had um, Hubert and Milo. Um, then after uh, summer, um, Dory got like promoted and our roster kind of fell apart because like um, Camille got offers from like some other teams and stuff like that. And he went to Gamer Legion and then we like wanted to do some changes and then we picked up um, <coughs> Marcus, QQ and then Pram, Nexius. Um, <coughs> Hendrik as and then... I mean, there was a lot of trials as well, right? So it was a bit yeah, confusing. Like, <laughs> like there was a lot of trials as well, where we tried a lot of different players. Uh, how was that yeah. period for you? I mean, I think it was like pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I think like every trial we did, um, it was like really nice. And everybody who we played with, it, it went really good. Um, we had some trouble to find like an um, upper first because like, I think we had like, couple of really good like um, mm. players but it, it couldn't just like fit in the team and then at the end we picked up uh, Henrik and then it was like a really good fit mm. and then we started to play like Henrik and yeah it went pretty well. Mm. Yeah he just got announced to endpoint so congratulations to him. Um, let's talk about y y you playing still in the kind of like the old NXT lineup with a uh, Kami, Shui and uh, Sertion, uh, who are also in the main team now as well. But um, did your role change from that lineup to the new lineup in NXT? Like from the uh, very in first... In game, but also out of the game? Um, kind of. <clears throat> in game it did. Um, like when I joined NXT the first time, I was playing like the same um, positions that I do like now in the main team and when I when we did rebuild then I had like the star roles but now I'm back like the encore kind of but like I, I don't like really care and I just want us to win and like perform the best so I think this is the right choice and like yeah I, I think it's well good. Mm. So you already got some practices in uh, with the lineup uh, and in the main team now. Uh, did Sergeon and Shui change from back then to now? <laughs> um, not really. They are still the same guys, I feel like. Both are funny guys, good players, but especially uh, pretty big trolls. 
yeah. <laughs> so it's really nice and enjoyable to play with those guys. I like it. Yeah. But in the game, did you feel like they got much better uh, during the time? Yeah, no, definitely. <clears throat> Especially like Kamil, he I think he was he was really good. Like of course, like when we started in NXT, but now he has improved a lot. Of course, he had <clears throat> a lot of tier one experience, and of course with uh, veteran players like Aker as well in game religion. So yeah, I think it's like really good for us, and I think we have really bright future. So the calling style of uh, Shui change from back then to now? Or would you say that? Yeah, I think it's like more advised, but I think it stays like the same, but he's just martyr. Mm. There's also two other members in the main team uh, with Torji and uh, Frozen. Uh, let's talk about Torji first. Uh, I thought you played with him, but you didn't. Like you got uh, to NXT when he was already promoted. Uh, what do you think about Torji from the first practices? Yeah, I think like He's really good. Um, he's also really fun. Like I enjoy spending time with him. Like we share like or we like uh, share the same interest. And he's a really funny guy, and I really like him. Mm. And uh, Frozen kinda has the same career path uh, as you. He got into Mouse with 16 as well. And what do you think about him as a player? Like before you met him now, and also now after you met him. Um, yeah, I, I always knew that he's like really good player, but now that I have had the chance to play with him, I can like definitely say that he's easily the best player I have ever played with, and I just like really like him. He's cool guy, and like he's <clears throat> not like stressing at like any time. Like he's always so calm, and that's something I wanna improve. Also like him as well. Like or I, I wanna do, uh, take something out of him like that. Mm. Um, Dennis is uh, the head coach. I think he was also not with you anymore in NXT, but I think he was always in contact, right, with uh, NXT. Um, did you talk, talk to Dennis before uh, you joined the main team, uh, like way before? Um, not really, uh, not that much. Um, when we were <coughs> boot camping in the same at the same time, it made him in Kingwin, and that's like uh, I think the only time I talked with him. And maybe when I joined NXT, I shared some words, but not not much. Mm. But I know he talked a lot with uh, Toby as well. Right? Yeah. Uh, Toby was your head coach. What 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 do you have to say about him? Like, because uh, I think he's a very lovely guy, right? Yeah, he's a really nice guy, and I think that he's really underrated. Like, people don't really like give him the credit that he, in my opinion, like deserves. Like, he does really good uh, work and job, like for the team and. He's really big part, like of, or he was really big part of my uh, career in NXT. Mm. Uh, you said we did the like boot camp with NXT and the main lineup in uh, Warsaw in uh, Poland. Uh, was there like any synergy where you were like watching the prep or like just looking around how they prep and stuff like that? Um, yeah, we were sp uh, spending some time together, especially like at the evening um, with the main team. We were playing some. Yeah, card games and stuff like that, but also during days um, we got to watch their like prep games and it was really interesting to see how they played and yeah, I think that's it. Mm. Did you learn something that you took into like your own game uh, right after or? Um, I tried, but I think I was uh, more like interested like how they like just play in general, so I didn't really focus like example to any specific player and I, I didn't like really take anything out of it because I was just like so happy to see them like play just like in front of me and I could watch them play. Mm. So now you getting promoted from the academy team to the main team. Uh, do you think this transition is much easier for you since you're already kind of in the team already, right? You know the staff members uh, kind of. Uh, do you think that makes your transition to tier one uh, easier than you joining a new team? Yeah, I think it does. <clears throat> um, I had I had play, played with Dory like before and like before I joined to the main team as well. Like we had played some couple of phases and like yeah, it 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 made me like really that I was like welcome to the team. It was really easy to like fit in because like we had really good uh, chemistry like instantly when we started practicing and stuff like that. And also like <clears throat> with Camille 
I played in NXT, so it was like really easy to work with him as well. Mm. And yeah, I would I would say like it it was like really easy. Do the systems kind of match up? Because I know that Dennis and Toby talk a lot, right? And mm. it would make sense to have like similar systems. Uh, do you feel like? The system you're playing now is not too much different from NXT. Um, yeah, I think so. Like the system we play is like pretty similar. Um, I think Toby took something out from the main team, and maybe Dennis took something out of us. I don't know, but it it feels like really comfortable, and I didn't really change or I didn't have to change my um, game that much, yeah. even though I play like new positions. So, but the callouts are they similar or? Uh, Actually, callouts they're completely different. Like that's yeah. the uh, only thing that I have to like work on still. But I think everything else than everything else than that is like it's really easy to work on. And yeah. Mm. So how would you describe your playstyle for like mouse fans that are very hyped about you but don't really watch the NXT games back then? Mm, I would say that I'm pretty like passive and I'm like playing. Lurk or second lurk at the moment, and then on city side I'm playing like those encore positions. Um, yeah. yeah. So if there's like one pro player you would compare yourself with, uh, who would it be? I don't know if I would compare me to like anybody, but I think I share kind of similar uh, playstyle to Rob's. Um, that's the only one I think. Yeah. I mean that's something that most fans probably like to hear, right? Um, let's talk about your motivation. What is your motivation in T1? Like, what is your goal to reach in T1? Yeah. Um, I always wanted to like become the best, like whatever I do in my life. And it's been very long now that I have played CS, and I had always like the same that I want to become the best player in CS. And, like, I know that I can achieve it if I do like mm. hard work and I do. I have good discipline and stuff like that, but it really needs like a lot of work to do. Um, so I didn't see like any any timeline for me. I will see <clears throat> how it goes now, how it starts in tier one, and yeah, I don't really take much pressure like um, how however it goes because I know that I will like have a uh, big career and bright future in front of me. How much did it help you that? Uh your brother obviously already played tier one and you probably watch his games like how did that help you into your development back then? Um, yeah, I was like a um, pretty big fan of my brother when he was playing back in and I was like watching his games and I think I like learned something from him like back in the days but now stuff has changed pretty much so I had I had to like do my own work and yeah. Um, but back then it was like helpful, I, I would say. But also like mentally maybe, right? Like yeah, yeah. you know him, he made it, so it f it feels like it's possible, right? To do it as well. Yeah, yeah. it gave me like, I would say like it gave me like confidence that if he can uh, become one of the best players, then I can also like, there is nothing stopping me. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jimpa. Maybe you look into the camera and say some last words for the mouse fans. Thanks everybody who are supporting us and see you in Cologne. Yeah. Do you want to maybe make uh, one message for the Finnish uh, fans in Finnish? Terveisiä kotiin. All right, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, we hope we see great things from you. Uh, we will see you back in one week uh, for the bootcamp. So yeah, thanks. Thank you.